By learning more about your genome, you have taken a major step preparing yourself for the genome era. Four thousand years ago, a two-year-old boy and his newborn brother passed away on the steppes of Siberia. His father was a tribal leader, so he was buried with a ceremonial bead necklace and many of his toys. This toddler was to turn all theories about the Ice Age migration of indigenous Americans on their heads in 2013. A special thank you to Jessica for requesting this topic. If you have a specific topic you would like to see discussed, please let me know here or on Facebook or on Twitter. Close to 100 years ago, in 1928, the remains of that boy, along with many items buried with him, were excavated in Malata Bureta in Siberia. The Maltinsko Buretskaya culture, which dated from about 23,000 to 19,000 years ago, would yield many items in multiple layers. The carbon dating would reveal dated many thousands of years apart in time. The Soviet-led excavations would last from 1928 to 1958, with the most work being done just before World War II between 1936 and 1940. The maltinsko boretskaya culture yielded many artifacts, there were lithic tools, some engraved with mammoths and other ancient creatures, as well as tools made from an antler and bone. They also used whale and mammoth bones to support their tent structures. Many, many figurines, some Venuses, and some more likely children's toys, were found on the site as well. The site yielded many, many, many bird statues carved from mammoth tusks. The toddler and the baby wore elaborate bead necklaces made from quartz and fish bones. The find proved to be a treasure trove for the Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg. In 2013, Texas A&M professor Kelly Graff, as part of an international study spearheaded by Eska Willerslev and Manasa Raghavan, decided to test the child's DNA. The DNA was extracted from a cross-section of the humerus bone from the boy's upper arm. DNA tests proved he was male. The bigger surprise was that 30% of the boy's DNA matched that of most Native Americans. This indicates that a majority of Native and Indigenous Americans today are descended from that child's family. If you are curious how many variants in your DNA match those of the Malata boy, you can access the match on GEDCOM or by using the Ancient DNA Calculator. Instructions on how to use these tools are in the video link below. A high amount of matched variants indicates probable Native American ancestry. The excavation site is not related to the island of Malta, which is famous for its megaliths, dating back about 6,000 years. If you like this video, please subscribe and keep checking this channel to learn how to get the most out of your DNA test results. Thank you for watching.